The Pawnee Nation plans to celebrate completion of a traditional earth lodge this week. It's only the only one built on tribal land in more than 100 years. News on 6's Emery Bryan has this story. The Pawnee Museum houses a small collection of tribal artifacts and representations of how things used to be, but this diorama of an earth lodge for most Pawnees was the closest thing they had to seeing one. Only in pictures, and, and there's a lot of Pawnees that, that never been even inside one or experienced one, or even all the, the history, how, how they were used. But now on the grounds of the old Pawnee boarding school, an earth lodge is almost complete. That's Morgan Little Son up top, lacing willow branches over cedar poles. The whole thing is covered with sod. The large entrance gives way to an interior that's sunken below grade with much more room than one would expect. It's a lot bigger than, than you think in here, you know. The lodges were houses and meeting places. The tribe once had entire villages of lodges back on native land in modern day Nebraska. The spectacle of new construction has attracted volunteers to help, and there's some hope that these traditional building techniques can be learned by younger Pawnees. The tribe would like to have one for each of their four bands. The first one involved years of planning and outside expertise from Nebraska. They're hoping the next ones won't take so long. How was it? It took us a hundred years, you know, but it's come about now, so I'm, I'm glad for it, happy for it, for our folks. With construction on this Earth Lodge almost complete, the Pawnees believe they'll have a long-lasting example of their traditional housing for a new generation. In Pawnee, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.